Demonstration of the scanning process, Rabbit. Open the calibration interface. Take out the calibration plate and open it in a correct position. Start the calibration by activating the button on the scanner. There are five calibration steps. Front. Right. Left. Front and back. Click Finish after calibration. The software will automatically enter the scanning interface. Next, start scanning. First select a scanning mode. Select the object mode here. Press the button on the scanner to preview the scanning status. Preview can better control the scanning distance. Press again to pause the preview. Press again to start scanning. If you don't like it, you can cancel the scan preview in the settings screen. Tips for scanning. Keep data collection at all times to prevent tracking loss. Scanning distance. Angle and speed all affect the data collection. It takes more practice to scan more smoothly. To check the completeness of the model, we turn on the data quality display button on the toolbar. Based on the color, we can see if the current scan results meet the current resolution requirements. The green range means that the resolution requirement is met. The red range means that the resolution is not met. If we ignore it, after generating the point cloud, the red part may be deleted. There may also be surface roughness. It is better to scan all parts in green. If there are black and bright materials that are not scanned completely, turn on the denoise option and turn down the value. If there is a scan splicing error, you can use the undo tool to delete the most recently scanned data. Scanning is complete. Pause the scan. Select the appropriate resolution. Check the color. Continue scanning if not enough. Generate point cloud file. Automatically enter the point cloud interface. Check the result. If you are not satisfied, you can go back to the scan screen and continue scanning. Use disconnected components option for data processing. Right click to delete. Click on the drop-down button in the point cloud interface. Grid optimization means that the mesh will make better. The processing time will also be longer. Select another hole filling mode for wrapping. Non-close no holes are filled. Semi-close the smaller holes are filled. Fully closed all holes are filled. Start wrapping. After the wrapping is completed, you will see the mesh interface. First reduce the number of meshes. Then fill the holes. Then map. If you choose non-color scanning mode, you will not be able to map. Click on the drop-down menu. The details will be slightly lost when mapping smoothing is activated but it will reduce the unevenness of the mapping. In the mapping screen, make final adjustments to the hue saturation of the map. IRL 3D has a modular interface. 
You can switch back and forward between the scan. Point cloud. Mesh and mapping interfaces. If it doesn't fit. Just generate it again. Finally, you can save. Click here. Name it. Select OBJ model. Save it. The whole scanning job is done. Thanks for watching.